Hello everybody, I am Ann Robinson. Welcome to my channel where it is awesome to be in and it is awesome to be you. And I am coming at you, this is just going to be a random video, but I will consider this to be uh, an opportunity to what elevate our minds because mental elevation is required so yeah and I do have a card because I was searching through um, the cards today just to see what spoke to my heart there were several but this one stood out the most and um, I have no apologies for this card at all and here is the card because it is what it is and God is God yes he is and it says God is with you do you see that God is with you yes he is <laughs> and so you know sometimes it's good to be reminded that we are not alone I woke up today in fact uh, it occurred yesterday. You know how sometimes things just sometimes just doesn't don't go the way that you want them to go. And people sometimes don't act the way you want them to act. And, uh, you know, I have learned in life that the only thing that we have control over is our own reactions, you know, our own thoughts, our own situations. Um, but we can't control what someone else does, what someone else says. We can't control anyone else's situation. Um, but let me let you know this, that in spite of it all, when it seems like everything is out of our control, um, God is still in control. And, I, you know, I've had so many thoughts you know, to just run through my mind. And, I'm, you know, just even thinking about the fact that, you know, my mom and my dad are not here. And thinking about a family that I do have that's here that really might as well not even be here because I never, ever have any interaction whatsoever with them. Except for my children, my three children. And mind you, um, yeah, my three. Yeah, sometimes I feel like it's just my three, myself, and I. <laughs> and no one else. Um, sometimes I feel alone. And that's being brutally honest. Um, I always look at it and say, well, if I fall, we all fall. And, um, you know, I'm including my three because my three children consider, you know, I, they look to me. And it's almost like sometimes I feel like if I fall, then what, what, or if things don't work out in my life the way I want them to be, um, who am I going to call for help? Who am I going to call for assistance? Sometimes I feel alone. I really do. Like I have no one to run to, no one to run to, but I do. It says God is with you. God is with me. And I know this to be so, but I also know that no man is an Allen to himself. And there are times that we need somebody. Um, I know that I have learned also the saying that people are in your lives, you know, come into your lives for a reason. Um, some people come into your life for a season. And then there are some that come into your li life for a lifetime. And I'm thankful for individuals that seemingly come into my life for a lifetime. But it just seems to me that life is so busy sometimes. Um, I can say that I have um, two, I would say two close girlfriends. But it just seems like we don't really get together that often. It seems as if life is so busy that I can't even remember the last time that I've talked on the phone to my friend, my friends, or even that they've called me to say hello. 
And sometimes I feel absolutely alone in that. Um, we all need our good girlfriends to interact with. We all need somebody sometimes to um, act as if they actually care for care for you. Um, what can I say? I'm trying to put it all together that even today I woke up and it's been an absolutely wonderful day. Um, my, uh, you know, me and baby girl, baby girl and I, uh, we got up early. She got up so early this morning at 529. She was texting me. Yes, we do <laughs> text within the house. That's shameful, isn't it? But she texted me to see if I was woke. And I was like, yes, <laughs> text her back and said I was woke. And I was like, what's wrong? <laughs> you know, that's mom's inclination. What's, what's wrong? And I'm, I walked out the room, went downstairs. Yes, baby girl is uh, back with me. If no one knew, she came back and home for, for a little bit. Um, and that's fine. Um, and we went to a flea. What do you call that? A, um, yeah, uh, um, a yard sale. And she got two wonderful wonderful african pieces they're african heads beautiful pieces and, and she got two of them they were they were, they were huge heads and they were heavy for 40 bucks i mean yeah and i actually got some she got some um dresses and i got this beautiful top along with some other things uh from the yard sale yeah as i watched it and here it is um yeah yeah. So yeah, anywho, I enjoyed going with her and then we went to pick up something to eat. I enjoyed sitting and talking with her. I always do enjoy spending quality time with my baby girl and then came home and it's kind of been a quiet day. And I'm thankful for quiet days. I'm thankful for time to sit back and reflect. But you know, I am looking to take my life to the next level. And one of the things that I've really been thinking about lately is God. And just thinking of how I want to go to the next level with God, how I want to increase my spirituality. And sometimes you have people that are in your immediate surroundings that can really be a hindrance to you and your relationship with God, especially if they are not on the same page as you are. And what do you do? Sometimes it could be family. Sometimes it could be close friends. And it's just something that your, your walk or your spirituality or your relationship with the creator, the most high, or whatever you want to call him, Allah or God, uh, is your, is, is, is you. That's something you do alone. You don't need anybody else to, um, there, that's a decision you have to make. It's between you and him, okay? And no one else can dictate your relationship with the Most High, and you shouldn't let anybody dictate your relationship with the Most High, the creator of heaven and earth, the creator of who you are. Yeah, uh, yeah, you can't allow that. And that gets in the way sometimes, especially when you have those who are going against the grain or who have no interest in the creator himself. And there are many who do not believe in God. There's many um, who just don't have a relationship with God because they don't know him. And um, but the truth of the matter is there is a God. <laughs> and I know that the Bible says the fool has said in his heart that there is no God. And because God didn't make no fools, honey, I'm not a fool and I'm definitely not foolish. And I will never not believe in God. Now, there might be other entities I might have a little bit of concern or disbelief in. But one entity stands for sure. There is a God, one God, one true God. Yes, God himself, the creator, the most high. Yes. All right. And I am happy to know that even when I feel alone, when I feel lonely, yeah, not even feel alone, feel lonely. That's the word. God is with me. When you're feeling alone, you can know that God is with you. He will never but leave you or forsake you at all. All right. There is help. 
to be found in him. And I um I am waiting on some things to happen in my life. And if they happen, I am okay. If they do not happen, I am okay because I still have what? God. He is the solid rock on whom I stand. All other ground, what is sinking sand? And I won't make this um, get to preaching to anybody, but I don't know. I needed the encouragement. I needed the uplift. And while we're waiting on things to happen in our lives, what do we need to do while we wait for whatever we need to happen in our lives to happen while we're patiently waiting. We continue to live. We continue to laugh. We continue to love. And we continue what? To have faith in God. And we continue to what? Pray. Prayer helps. Prayer works. And that is something that I am, have been doing. Uh, anytime I get a thought of loneliness, anytime that I get a thought of needing guidance, anytime I have a thought of, of anything that makes my mind get anything, have experienced anything but peace, I go to God. So yeah, there you go. <laughs> if anyone uh, knows what I mean, if you've been where I've been feeling sort of lately, um, the past two days that is, just know that you are not alone. God is with you and I will close it out like that. God is with me too. And for that, I am thankful. And I am thankful for you tuning into my video and I will see you where in my next video. Peace and blessings. What until next time.